Hi, it's Yuka, and I just got the beta version of the Ray-Ban Meta multimodal AI feature called Look and Ask. Multimodal means that the AI is using multiple modes of information, such as image, text, speech, etc., to process information. It's currently in early access for users in the US and it's still in testing mode, so not everything is perfect yet, but I've been really excited to test this out ever since this feature was announced at MetaConnect earlier this year. So far, I've been loving using the Ray-Ban Meta to capture little videos here and there for uploading to stories, especially for things that require both hands. As I was saying in some of my last videos, I wanted to get the lenses changed to a transition lens, which I did in Japan. Now my lenses are transitional, so it, indoors it looks like it's a little bit more transparent and outdoors where there's UV light, this will turn into sunglasses. So now it's like very much more versatile and I love it so much more. So back to the look and ask feature, when this is enabled, on top of being able to ask questions to the Meta AI, you will be able to ask questions about things you are looking at using the camera on board. What it's basically doing is when you ask the command with look and something, Meta AI will take a photo of that moment and then um, look at the image to figure out what you're asking about. If this works as advertised, this becomes not only a great content capturing device, but also pretty cool AI wearable device that hasn't really been done before by any other company. So here are some things that I tried asking it. One of the things is identifying places. If it will recognize places and landmarks as they demoed at MetaConnect. So this one was really impressive. It also told me that I was on the Brooklyn side, which was correct. And then I turned around and asked about the Domino Sugar Building, but this did not work out as planned. It told me that it wasn't ready to identify landmarks yet, so maybe it's coming in the future. In terms of identifying things and objects, it was able to identify my dog Pino as a golden doodle. It was also able to identify what a book was about, even though it's a travel guide for Seoul, South Korea, written in Japanese. This book is about the city of Seoul and its culture, history, food and tourist attractions. It was also able to identify what the model and make of the camera was, which was pretty impressive. This appears to be a purple Fujifilm Instax Mini 7 Plus camera with the brand name and model number printed on the front. It's a popular instant film camera that produces small, physical photos. I asked a follow-up question of how much this costs, and it told me it cannot do that yet. I can't help with requests about product information or shopping it, but we'll be able to soon. So then I wanted to test out something else, trying to make it identify intellectual property and people. So I had a photo of BTS lying around as one does. So I asked it if they knew who they were. When it gave me this answer, I thought maybe it has something blocked. It's like an IP, maybe AI has like blocked that. So then I wanted to test it out with like a fictional character. This character appears to be a plushie or figurine of the K-pop group BTS mascot, Dionysus. If you know anything about BTS, this answer was pretty funny because it definitely got confused along the way and it used words that are connected to BTS, which is correct, but the answer itself was not accurate. The character's name is Jimmy. Dionysus is a title of one of the BTS's songs. The information kind of got jumbled up there. One of the things that Meta had as an example of things to ask was to ask for wine pairings and recipes. So I had to try that. Based on the information provided, it appears to be a bottle of red wine. A rich and full-bodied red wine like Le Petit Renard can pair well with a variety of hearty dishes such as grilled steak, roasted lamb, or braised short ribs. It could also complement strong cheeses and dark chocolate desserts. I think this one was pretty spot on. Look and Ask is still in kind of like a beta situation right now, so it might not be completely fair to like review it as of now. And as you've seen, there were some instances where it was completely correct and sometimes it was not. I think it's getting very close to what they said it will do in the beginning. I'm just excited for it to get better over time. Let me know your thoughts and if you have any ideas of what I should ask it next.
living that good, good life. I'm just living that good.